All right, y'all. Okay. Have you ever been thought at by the largest by mind the on planet, planet Earth? Earth? <laughs> uh, you might be wondering what and why. Well, no one asked for it, but they're definitely thinking it. They weren't. They weren't, though. Um, <laughs> we're we're going to skip the little training sequence at the beginning. No one needs to see that shit. Let's jump right in. I'm I'm assuming uh people are familiar with what this is. Yeah, I I think this is a pretty like underground game. Right. Um I I don't think there's many people who like played it, but I know there's a lot of people who talk about it. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's on the, it's on the Steam Indie Network. Um it's yeah. Call of Duty uh Modern Warfare. Yep. Call um, of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4. They made four games miraculously. They just somehow got enough money. Well, um, <laughs> You know, it's it's been a, it's been a rough journey for them. The, the developers, uh, Activision, had a lot of had, yeah. Almost, Activision had some problems. Yeah, they 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 really like almost went you know bankrupt like several times. They had to ask Sega for money. Yep. <laughs> so that guy with the mustache, he actually is in the game. They couldn't afford to render him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be real for just a second here. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna lose a lot of friends and a lot of. People watching, I'm gonna lose everything when I say this, but I still maintain that this game, this one, is pretty good. I'm sorry. We're, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> See you at <out> the door. <laughs> oh god. Oh Jesus. Sensitivity's all weird. That, that's what's up. That's the problem. <laughs> Are you sure it's not that you're standing on a fucking wet boat? <laughs> so you are you curious about what the plot of this game is? Yeah, what the hell is this? Okay, so there's some weapons or something that they suspect are on this boat. Yeah. That uh, Russian, like there's some shit going on in Russia right now. Okay. I, I, I don't know if that shows up later or if that shows, no, yeah, that shows up later. And then there's this asshole. And, uh, yeah. So, sh no, wait, no, what shows up is what happens in the Middle East. But, uh, Russia's going through some shit. There's, like, these groups of people who are, like, rebelling against the government. Yeah. And, uh, the, the, we're the Brits, and there's also, and we're supposed to be helping the, like, the actual, yeah. like, Russian government. Okay. And, uh, Not the rebel group that's like trying yeah. to take everything over. Yeah. Okay. And oh yeah, I just kind of missed it, but that helicopter killed everyone in the room. Oh, okay, so it was Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Mike just Mike. He's just yeah, team. man. Hey, soap, man. Hey, dude. You know why we call you soap? <laughs> you know why we call you soap? <laughs> you get a little kinky with the beads. <laughs> the bath beads we we have in the military. <laughs> When you're falling, my car! <laughs> I'm glad that Mike finally got combined with fobbing the cocks. Oh, shit, that's a group. Oh. <laughs> that's Call of Duty right there. You just saw that. <laughs> Walk into steam in real time and get blasted by a grenade. I don't think we should play this. <laughs> People might see that I'm bad at this. <laughs> I am less like... This. Honestly, I've played this so much, but I haven't improved like, at all. In like, I, I like ever. how you're more ashamed that people would see you're bad at Call of Duty no. than that you're let's play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There I, is nothing I feel but shame right now. <laughs> but shame is a pretty cool thing to feel, dude. Dude. Butt shame can get you off. <laughs> this is a uh, pretty solid FPS, so much so that oh, it's... Look, it looks nice. I mean, like, I mean, like, it was definitely the one of the best of its time, like 2007. Yeah. But the problem is, every game tried to be it. Right after. And it. Yep. I'm just spraying it. Uh, who cares? I don't have to. I don't. You're not here to see high level play. <laughs> We're just gonna talk about Call of Duty and what it did to the game again. Yeah, and how it just kind of ruined, ruined everything. Yeah, like, like every game tried to be it. Every 
and like, like, every, like yeah, it like, stifled creativity and all sorts of shit. Like almost every game has to be this hyper realistic deal, and like even even if like, Clear right. Clear left. like even if the story like lends itself more to being like a different art style, they're just gonna try to make it like this, yeah. and like. That just led to all kinds of bullshit problems. I mean, like, it's even more a problem than, like, God of War was for, like, character action games. Because, like, like, God of War wasn't that bad, but then, like, every game tried to be, like, as quick time eventy as it was. And it kind of. kind of made a lot of games suck. Yeah. It's. it's like shaping the genre, but, dude, you know. But, like, like every. it's okay, it's like. It's like giving everyone the tools for, like, something yeah. that they could do, but, like, everyone's doing the same thing the first guy did, instead of, like, doing something that, like, of their own. It's, like, the same deal with, like, when, like, Sonic started, like, was more popular than Mario. Like, everyone ever decided, let's make an animal mascot. Yeah. All of them terrible. Like, Arrow the Acrobat, fucking... Yeah, Arrow the Acrobat. It was a fucking... <laughs> it was a bat that was an acrobat. Good job. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> there was fucking... Bubsy, and we know how good that is. <laughs> it's like it's all kinds of shit that happened with that. I so, mean, like also, if you listen real closely, you can hear a gate, like a Geiger counter. Oh, this give you Geiger counters? Yeah, this this thing is nuclear as shit. Whatever, Damn. Whatever weapon they have. With your Geiger counters. And, guess, and you notice this little flag here? Yeah. Uh, remember all that shit. And this nuke is a little important. Well, that's a nuke, I mean... <laughs> I mean, like, to this plot, specifically. Ah. I'm, I'm sure you all know what it is. It, there's a... There's a point that I... S yeah, fuck it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I'm dead, I'll tell you later. This is scripted as hell. Like, I don't know, like, back in the day I found this whole, like scene and everything about it really well done, but I've seen it so many times now. Yeah. That, or like, I've seen it so many times in so many different games that it's like, I don't know, it, it feels weak now. Yeah. Like the whole like, run and get on the thing with the QT fast enough. Yeah, or like, just like all the things being shown in first person and there's a part later on, which I might just kind of skip to that is, yeah, like, it's the most famous part of this game. We're playing Call of Duty 4, Modwa. Yeah, Modwa. Soap. <laughs> They'll clean the earth of evil. So what's going on in the Middle East today? Probably some camels. I mean, it's true. <laughs> it's fucking true. So there's this guy, Al Falani, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is he a member of the Winds of Destruction? No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, he is not cool at all, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a bummer. It is a bummer. A bummer, man. So the satellite's tracking this car, right? And, and doing nothing. Yep, just like looking at it. It's like, oh, look at that. It's a car and stuff. Man, I wish Google Maps was just detailed. And this. That... So, this. I don't know. I think this was. Like back in the day, again, I found this really cool. I am playing as the president of this Middle Eastern country. Oh, snap. And this terrorist organization has me. Fuck. They're gonna put you in a really... Oh, no! Don't put me in that car! It's ugly! <laughs> like, one thing... A positive thing I'll say about Call of Duty. Yeah. I don't know how many of these you'll get. But, uh, <laughs> But, like... Oh, yeah, that guy is, like, our, kind of a recurring character in this. Is he, thing. like, modeled after, like, this one actor? Uh, like, might like, be. There's this one actor that's just like him. I can't remember his name. He's in, like, The Professional and, like, uh... I think Snatch. But I really think they establish the setting and the mood super well here. Like, sure, this probably wouldn't actually happen, all of this. Yeah. 
but also a car with a sunroof in the Middle East, that's not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it's and really hot. <laughs> so they're breaching that door. There's a lot of infiltration going on. They're going to a soccer game. That's why all the tanks are there. So there's this massive insurgency going on. Like, today is the day this terrorist organization strikes, and it turns out they have, like, a lot of money. They got it all from, like, Dr. Ocean Strike, right? Probably. Okay, good. Finally, I get to see, it, see Dr. Ocean Strike. And then Ocean you see, like, people... Being detained, or hostages, or killed, or yeah. whatever they're doing. Yeah. Just beating that beating. guy for, you know, mouthing off, or, you know, not cleaning that day, or... <laughs> You know, just just general douchebaggery in the streets. And yeah, and they're getting caught up in the crossfire. Yeah. But where's the part? Is it when they stop at a radio shack? <laughs> yeah. And they just, stop there. Just pick just up like, some. Just pick up some like rechargeable batteries and like some like freaking. That guy's just doing graffiti right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just like. Shit, I just wanted to I just wanted to Banksy this bitch. Yeah, right? I just wanted to be Banksy for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's running away from the dog. And... Wish you were here. <laughs> this is a guy in a dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Like, he just happens to like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, you're super happy if they, like, modded that guy to be so like, <laughs> Okay, this is it. Oh. Yeah. They're dead. Firing wall. So, yeah, they, they really laying it on thick that this place is a shithole right now. Yeah. Kind of a bad place to be. Well, this, like, guy's speaking out to the entire country over some loudspeaker. It's gotta be like a tornado siren or something. Yeah, like... No! Yeah. Oh, you can move your head around and be all disoriented? Yeah. The same two guys just kinda... Moving <laughs> your, your broken arms. Yeah, they only have like seven models for the terrorists. Yeah! <laughs> so they reuse them constantly. I mean, you might as well when you're like running something that's like this, like high. Yeah. For like at the time. <laughs> Sampu. It's the vizier from Prince of Persia. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am. With all my friends. Good. Good thing they're friends. Oh, and they're filmmakers, so they like you know all about like you know and activism. time slows because you're the prince. Ah oh, man, you don't have any sand tanks, do you? <laughs> no, that's not how it happened. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of cool to be like, well, I don't know. I, I cool thought that it was they put you in first person, and let you like feel like you were in control of a situation. Yeah, but that just you had like no control of. from the perspective of the president being assassinated. Yeah, no, that's know. that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, you shoot through the walls. That's really cool. It's like Far Cry Vengeance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. <laughs> Dude, turn on Teletubbies. Or Taliban Tubbies. Teletubbies. Teletubbies. That do it America. I don't know. I don't know any Teletubbies songs. <laughs> was that a shopping cart? Now my disbelief has been thrown. Like back here, I thought there was a shopping cart. Yeah, okay. Now my disbelief has been thrown out the window. There are no Walmarts here. <laughs> That's well, not well, this is Russia. Oh, we're in Russia now, okay. or this place called Azerbaijan. Right, they, they they might have a Walmart. Yeah, maybe. We're we're in Eastern Europe. Okay, at this point. But that's not what we're here for, is it? 
That's not what you all came to see. That's not what you all came for. Act 2. Electric Boogaloo. So, this is, like, pretty much the entire American campaign is just, like, badass American ass-kicking. And, like, yeah, like, you know, it's, like, the game pretty much says America's right in all of this. It's, it doesn't, there's no ambiguity there's no, yeah, there's no questioning, like... That quick decisions yeah. governments make, whether they're like actually yeah, it's more, just a big like, like it's a big suck America's dick fest basically yeah yeah. So it's like you're killing the terrorists. It's like you know and you, uh, you never get to know whether like, and, and it's and the good guys are always winning up to this point. Ah. And uh, so now we're uh, making our like final push on this guy called Al Assad, which was. Which was that one, like, weird dude? The weird-looking uh, dude? Oh, the guy looks looks like Xehanort? Yeah, the guy who handed the one guy the gun. Ah, so the guy from Kingdom Hearts. Um, yeah, yeah. He, he looks like that, like, we're, he just uh, looks like Yeah. Um, we're making our attack on Al-Assad. <laughs> because, I mean, like, and these games are never really gonna I mean, go the Call of Duty there. numbers are kind of going down, because people are agreeing that it's, you know... It's been done. Yeah, we, we've seen this before. And yeah, yeah, like, it's and so right now it's a rail shooter. Uh, so it's like Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of shooting. Oh, that, fact, it's like that came worst, from behind me. I can't the even worst turn there. level in Shadow the Hedgehog. All right, actually. so I just died, but that's okay. Yeah, it's kind of, it's and like throughout the entire game, you hear all this like talk and not all of it applies to you like we found this and we found that also you can kind of do this whole symbolic thing there by breaking the statue it's the dom statue exactly and, oh and, shit and yeah this uh they never actually specify what country this is but it's so iraq it's casinoopolis zone <laughs> Casino. I mean, duh. Also, <laughs> see that symbol there? Yes. That was the same symbol from that nuke yeah. that we saw in that one water level. Yeah, yeah. It's uh. Like I never had like the console and stuff to get this game. Like I just. Well, I wasn't really in the shoot. I'm not really into shooters that much anyway. But yeah. Like, and I, I am not anymore. I, I used to be really into them. Well, like, again, like, the, the one the one thing that's disappointing about this, like, like, w like when this got so popular and it, like, took over how games are, is that, like, there were a lot of games that came out when this one did come out that didn't get any attention. That just... Yeah. That really sucks. Yeah, like, they just fell to the wayside and they'll never see anything that, like, unique again because of it. But, it's, you know, that's just what happens. Also, there's, like, all sorts of tactical chatter. Like... Like, you hear all that? Like, get to yeah. cover. Hostile with RPG. And that, that is all, like, context sensitive. Oh, that's, a, that's cool. So it's like... So it's like actually happening. Yeah. Like, there, it's not just chatter for no reason. Yeah. Like, all of this is what's happening up here. Yeah, I, I love how, like, every, like, rebel group or, like, terrorist group or something always has, like, some kind of fist as their symbol. Like, I can't wait for, like, some oil God company damn. to, like, rebel and be called the Rubber Fist. Yeah. Like, that, once that happens, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna die happy. I'm just gonna be like, nope, I got killed by the Rubber Fist. That's the funniest way to die. <laughs> Essentially, this is my Leave Call of Duty Alone episode. Yeah. He's, he's right now, like, crying through his makeup. And, like, <laughs> my eyeshadow yeah, is just eyeshadow leaking is all over the place. And like, hey, Call of Duty isn't... Quite as bad. <laughs> Leave Call of Duty alone. It's a game. <laughs> Why weren't you like Call of Duty? <laughs> that was like the funniest shit. Well, as happened. if this game like needs defending. I know, right? Like, like, like that's like one of the, like the most like like it definitely has problems. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, that was fast. I didn't think you took that much damage. Yeah, that guy had a shotgun, so... So, like, the you gun, gotta know gun that. damage is, like, like real-life gun damage. Yeah. Okay, so, like, don't ever get shot. Oh shit. Now it's getting hardcore. <laughs> I threw a grenade in his butt! <laughs> but it was the grenade impact that killed him. <laughs> really? the grenade itself. Like, you throwing the grenade at his ass was enough damage to, like, finish him off. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's like, I'm still barely a... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then he just gets lodged up there. It's the grenade, it's the grenade lodged in his butt. He didn't die from the explosion, he died from the grenade getting in. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, your wife's in that helicopter. Oh, no. They've got your family exploded. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Wow. <laughs> you're getting deep shit for uh, killing your teammates. They just take your helicopter down immediately and like, oh, your game's over. But the Go cool back thing is, like, it's got some tolerance to it. It's so, like, it'll know, it kind of it can detect when it's an accident. Okay. That's interesting. So, like, it kind of knows, like, when it's, but, like, if you, like, throw the point right at it. I mean, well, like, with rockets, it's less tolerant. Yeah. Because, like... If you hit with one rocket, it'll be like, hey, uh, don't yeah. fucking shoot rockets at your guys. Yeah. I shouldn't have to tell you that. <laughs> so, throughout this entire mission, they were talking about this, like, nuclear bomb. Yeah. That, uh, that, like, these, the terrorists have. Right now, I'm just kind of, it's kind of doing your thing. It's kind of like, just clearing out. So if the nuke goes off, we won't be far away enough, far away enough from it, uh, for it to not get hit by the fallout or just the blast itself. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen this part of the game yet. I've probably, I think I know what you're talking about. I think, okay. I think I've seen this before. Yeah. I guess that E3. I think this was a and, uh, surprisingly deep part of a game that is kind of shallow at points. Especially, oh fucking it, is uh. So, oh fuck, that's a grenade. You did it. You saved her. Yep. She'll live to the rest of the game, right? Yep. Right. All of these guys are not gonna, are gonna retire right after this, right? Well, we were all one day from retirement, so then we're fine, right? Because let's just get through this one day and we'll be done. Exactly. We won't have to deal with this ever again. All those bolts are going through your back aren't actually going through your back. Yep. And now I because of cutscenes. Now I gotta kill all these zombies. I mean terrorists. Also a flashbang out there. I right, that that helped a lot. Did it? I, I don't know. I could <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your party captain. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your party captain. Uh, if you look to your right, you're going to see... So they confirmed a nuclear threat. And if you look to your left, you'll see a nuclear threat. Which is in my pants. Oh yeah! Fuck! So that's bad. I don't know, the alarm just goes off for no reason sometimes. I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh... It maybe just punch it. it we have a fine. watch right now. We'll say not a warning, just a watch. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. This part was like really surprising when I first saw it. So yeah, they have a big list of all the people who died. Man, not Mike. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he'll live. Mike. Cause he can live through anything, and we'll see him at the bar, right? For another, for another brew. We'll see him. <laughs> see him this time. <laughs> so I've been located apparently on the satellite. Oh, good. Well, why don't they send down so, the satellite? So it was like. <laughs> 
at this point, I was like, oh, shit. I lived through that. Is it because you're an alien? So, yeah. Like, I can't really run here. Well, I mean, of course not. Everything's all, you know, all Terminator 2. Exactly. Oh, dude. Are your legs made of jello? Like, like actually, are they made of jello? I mean. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It is oh, pretty. <laughs> Wait, no, that's deadly. It's the other thing. Kiss him. <laughs> he smells like strawberries. He does, though. <laughs> he must have been eating Starburst before he got killed. <laughs> <laughs> like, these are good Starbursts. I hope somebody kisses me. Blah! And watch that building in the background. Wow. Hello, darkness, my over. <laughs> I can't remember the rest of the words. This is where you get the superpowers, right? You become a mutant? Yeah. Okay. This is where the game takes a interesting can you, can turn. You, can you, could you imagine how, like, this, like, wouldn't have gotten any, like, praise if it just had that in it? Like, you just get mutant powers yeah. because of this? <laughs> they, they'd just be like, it's a video game. I mean, it is. But, yeah, so, like... like, and then, so you see everything fade out, and then this part happens after it loads. And Nick KIA. Fury, Nick Fury tells you that you're uh, that you're an Avenger now, right? Yeah. See that KIA stands for knowing I'm Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I don't know, like that part. I well, that's, I that's, think that part does deserve the praise it gets. No, I mean it's, it's interesting because that's, it's that's, like a permanent death. Yeah. And it and in a war game, it's something they don't. They didn't do much up to that point. Yeah. Like, where you, you play as a character, and then they just are dead. Like, your character is, like... Like, they do things where, like, they'd have, like, this guy die. You know, like, your superior officer. Or yeah, like... Your like, best friend or whatever. Not you, but, like, other people would be dead. Yeah, they never or, like, everyone would die around you. Dies. Yeah. But, like, there were two main characters in this game... And one of them just is just dies like permanently. And that's pretty fucking rough. Yeah. Like and I mean then Modern Warfare two happened where that shit happens like three times in the geez. entire game. They're just like, hey, it was just, just like first time. We we nailed it the first time. They'll love it the next five that, times. See that's that's like that's like okay. It's like if you're putting up like a picture and you put one nail in and it's like it's good, it's up. Then you just go, you know what? This could use like seven nails. <laughs> <laughs> it's not secure enough. And then you like put it right through the middle of the frame. Yeah, and, and you're just like fucking up the picture and shit. Oh, and you're like, God, cry. Oh, here's a cool little thing. Like they do have a lot of cool toys for you to play with. And then Modern Warfare 2 fucked it all up by giving you way too many toys to play with. Yeah. Like, that game's got, like, predator missiles and shit, and Jeez. drones, emplaced guns. So, like, when so, like when they added all that stuff in the, in the Modern Warfare 2, like, the, like, like well, how does that, like, that must really fuck up their, the multiplayer. Their entire right? philosophy with making the game was more is more. And that more is better is more is more. Yeah, just, like, just add more shit to it. And, like, he does some, sh and, like, some shit explodes in front of you. Oh shit! This Meaning, like you're kind of stuck on the floor from all the jizz, the, right? I mean, all, from all the jizz, from all the explosions. And uh, at the end, Captain Price like throws his gun to you. You kill Al Assad and his two little guys, and then they airlift you. And then you see everything kind of fade to white. And so because of you, you are sure that Gaz is dead. And uh, Captain Price is pretty fucked up, and you, as in soap are not, uh, see, I'm not really even playing right now, I'm just moving around to keep it slightly interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, like, like, it's implied that you kind of die, but then, and also because Soap, they never show his face, and, you know, you're supposed to be Soap. Yeah. 
but then later, you're this guy named Roach, who's completely insignificant. <laughs> and uh, Soap is this, like, douchebag with this fucking mohawk. What? And he has this really shitty Scottish accent. Okay. And, uh... So this is the second one, right? Yeah, second one. So, so like the second one, they just like gave a face to a faceless character that yeah. like, you could identify and with, of and of course made him he's super like hard to identify with. He's like the super badass who like does all the right shit. And it's so so basically what they did was they took a character that you could relate to because he didn't have he didn't have a face like you know many characters do like people everybody relates to Link because he just like doesn't say shit yeah but then they just decided this like just they were like oh let's just give him like a personality that no one will relate to except for bikers like, yeah <laughs> exactly and yeah like that's a pretty bad move on their part yeah but yeah. That's, that's kind of how I feel about the whole series. It's, and then it just kind of got worse. Black Ops kind of went for this fight club thing. <laughs> that's really weird. <laughs> I never actually, like, bothered to play Black Ops. I know, like, well, I, I'm on the... That was the last one I ever got. Yeah. Black Ops 1. And that was when my friend got, like, vac banned because he was using hacks. And, <laughs> and then I had no one to play with, and then I just kind of realized that the game was really stagnating, and it's just kind of the same shit. And it's, you know, it's, it's yeah. not really even the genre I play anymore. Uh, when life gets you down... And you don't know what to do. Have a flashbang. You can throw a flashbang <laughs> at your friend and blind yourself. Wow, that like bounced right off his head. Like a real grenade. <laughs> what the fuck? Did he sit on it? Oh. Okay, I think it's being a little too lenient with the friendly fire right now. You you are you are just killing them. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Friendly fire will be tolerated for a little for, bit. <laughs> for a while. For a while. But then we're not gonna, like, when we, re we realize you're just doing this, just to be, an, you know. They must have a meter of a certain amount of, like, damage they can take before it's like, okay, you're you're being a dick. Oh, here's a cool little cheat here. It's, it's called a bad year. Yeah. What? What? Happens when I. For fuck's sake. Thing is, like. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> and noir. There I was, playing Call of Duty. <laughs> there I was, sitting naked in my house, just covered in Cheeto dust, in my parents' basement, wishing I had made something of my life playing Call of Duty. And that's when she walked Swearing in. at 12 year olds. <laughs> But she didn't really walk in. She walked into my room I was playing Call of Duty on. And that's when I kicked her from the lobby because she's a noob. <laughs> because I don't play with noobs. I'm a pro. <laughs> People who are new to this game are ruining this game. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. You're in a graveyard right now. Fuck this game anyway. Yeah. It's not the best game in the world though. It's certainly yeah. not the best FPS. What what is the the what you put it the, the like not like the best but maybe the top one? Um, well, I don't know for like skill based like shooting like this. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I'm I'm really liking uh, uh, the new Counter Strike uh, Global Offensive. Okay, I I do like the way that game feels. Um, okay, and. Uh, if we're going for like single player story, uh, it's this game came out in 2004, but Half Life 2 is still wow fantastic. That's really nuts. Yeah, that's... Uh, as for like best, I I kind of put Valve on a pedestal there because they they make yeah they make some of the best versions. I mean I don't even play first person shooters, but I play the shit out of Portal. Yeah. And it's not even like a first person shooter really, it's a puzzle game, but still like I played the shit out of it and could do it. Like yeah. I didn't like like I may have been frustrated on shit sometimes, but I, I never yeah. like got so mad I never wanted to play it again. Yeah. Like <laughs> Yeah, I I get you. 
I, I think Valve does really good with it. There are, there are some other ones, too. I don't think I've ever played a Far Cry game I liked. Not even, like, the one, like, the, the regular Far Cry's? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know, I never really I, did, I didn't really game. like them. Far Cry Vengeance, I certainly didn't like. <laughs> yeah, where they just blow up the tank for you, like yeah. a fucking jeep, because they're just like, oh, it's alright, dude, you shot him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did it, good job. Here's a gold star.